In today's video, we're gonna be talking about my Dark Star Gear Hitchhiker holsters, and I'm gonna be kind of highlighting some of the different things that I really, really like about this holster and some of the things that you might like about it too. So the Hitchhiker was my first ever experience with a quality standalone Kydex holster. All of my Kydex holster experience prior to this was with sidecar holsters. So I had a really big and dramatic felt difference between those previous holsters and this one, but not just because of the lack of magazine attachment, um, also because of the felt difference in the draw and the actual comfort of carrying it. I actually have two of them. I have this one that's all set up for carrying on a belt with pull the dot loops. I actually have a fixed retention kit in here with the dark wing. And then I also have this one and I had two separate ones because I had one on my Enigma and one for actually just carrying on a belt. This one's completely skeletonized right now. I have nothing, um, you know, putting the holster together. I do have this little piece of Velcro on here so that I could kind of play around with wedges when I was using this on my Enigma. So the first thing I wanna do is highlight some key features on this holster. First is that it comes with a full sweat guard and prior to this holster, I pretty much always stuck with a mid sweat guard, but this is definitely something I've come to really like, and I haven't noticed a major difference in comfort for myself personally. Um, my husband actually carried in a hitchhiker for a short time, and this blocking here was uncomfortable on him, but I carried in this holster for almost nine months, and this is not something that ever really bothered me. The next thing I wanna point out is the amount of options that you have for actually placing clips on this holster. So you have the option to put pull the dot loops up here. I did wanna mention that this is not gonna be compatible with the discrete carry concept clip mono block. Um, the hole spacing from here to here is just not compatible with that. So just note that, but you can attach just standard mod four discrete carry concept clips down here, as well as other clips that mount on the lower portion of the holster. You have different options for ride height, both up here and down here. And if you so choose, you could attach a clip where the wing actually goes. The next feature I wanted to highlight on this holster and when I first started using it and for the whole nine months I was carrying in it was my absolute favorite part is the rounded muzzle. This created so much comfort for me. For me personally, an open-ended muzzle is just not comfortable for me. For just where I actually carry, it tends to kind of hit on my pelvic bone and it just, it's not comfortable. So having this rounded muzzle is really, really crucial for me personally and actually getting comfort out of my holster. And lastly, I wanted to highlight this design on the dark wing. I love this angled feel and there's a new upgrade to the mod wing out there. So you actually have the option to have an angled wing with the mod wing as well now, and you can adjust the um, sizes on the mod wing, but still I really do love this angle on the dark wing. What it does for you is it presses up against your belt and it actually pushes the top of the slide into your body more. So it does somewhat like what an actual wedge is supposed to do, just on a slightly lower scale, but it's also tucking the grip. So it's going to tuck the grip into your body as well as the slide. Keep in mind that this is an adjustable retention holster, which means when you buy this holster, it comes with adjustable gummies in the center right here, so that when you tighten down on it, you can actually tighten the retention or loosen it up. And currently I actually have a fixed retention kit on this holster, so it's actually not an adjustable retention holster currently. Something to note about that is if you want to use this holster with the Enigma, it's really highly recommended to get the fixed retention kit and put that in there for the Enigma use specifically. But outside of the Enigma use case, it's awesome to have the ability to use the adjustable retention feature on this holster. Keep in mind also that this is a made to order holster. So it's gonna be anywhere from two to four weeks before this is shipped out to you. And I just wanted to make sure to mention that so that if you guys are kind of weighing the pros and cons of different brands out there, that this one does require a bit of a wait time. The Hitchhiker holster is going to fit a Glock 48, a Glock 43X, and a Glock 43. Just note that it's the same holster every time. So if you buy this for the Glock 43, it's going to actually have a longer muzzle on it than the actual gun and same goes for the 43X. So to kind of sum up this video, I wanted to kind of just revisit and re-highlight some of the features that are available on this holster so that you can kind of make a good determination on if it's actually what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a holster with a quality angled wing, 
something that has the ability to kind of tuck the top of your slide in as well as the grip of your gun, something that has adjustable retention with the option to add a fixed retention kit, something with a lot of different options and hole spacing for clip attachments, and something with a rounded and enclosed muzzle, as well as something with a full sweat guard, then this is the holster that you're looking for. This video is actually the first of quite a few videos I hope to put out over the next couple of weeks and months about holsters and just kind of highlighting their different features so that you can find what you're looking for for your specific body and the features that you're wanting in a holster. So make sure you keep an eye out for those videos and stay tuned. I'll see you guys in my next video.